be scared. Don't worry, it's only me. No, I didn't think you'd be scared, actually. Probably scared myself more than I scared you, because I'm just a great big softy. Do you think we should turn the lights on? Okay, let's do that. Oh, that's better. Well, welcome to our Halloween edition of SFS Kids. It's all different this year, isn't it? No trick-or-treating allowed. So I hope that you found another way to get some sweets. So we're going to be thinking about Halloween. We're going to be thinking about God. We're going to be thinking about dark and light. And as ever, we've got Nat and Rob to help us to do that. And they've brought along their friend Jordan, who's supposed to be helping, but I think sometimes he's just getting in the way. I don't know about you, but I prefer the light to the dark. A little bit of dark is okay, but I prefer the light. So we've got a good song now, a nice little song to sing that is called Let Your Light Shine. So are you ready to sing? On your feet, up off that couch and join in. So let's go. Great. Hope you managed to join in with that okay. So you can sit down now and have a little bit of a rest because it's time for virtual Sunday school with Nat. And she's joined this week by Rob and Jordan and they're going to be carving pumpkins and showing us how to do that. But actually, I think they're just making quite a lot of mess as well. So are you ready? Over to you, Nat. Hello and welcome to Virtual Sunday School! Now you might have noticed that the shops are filled with pumpkins and spooky outfits. So today we're going to look at Halloween, which can be quite a divisive thing for Christians. So we'll look at some Bible verses, a craft, a creative prayer and then finish with a final thought. So grab your drink and a biscuit and let's do this! You're stuck at home with time to spare Can't go outside, you're not going anywhere Why don't you pull up a chair or pull up a suit Tune into Virtual Sunday School We have a craft to do and a story or two Say hello to Nat, she's stuck at home too Why not tune in to Virtual Sunday School? I'm sure most of you are aware that Halloween is a holiday on the 31st of October. 
and lots of people dress up in spooky outfits, decorate their home with scary things and go trick or treating. And you might hear lots of scary things about Halloween. It's when the ghosts come out. It's when the zombies are here. It's a celebration of darkness. It's something to be terrified of. And for some kids, it can be quite scary. Like it was for you growing up, wasn't it, Rob? Secretly, yes. Halloween was a bit scary as a kid. I know it's just silly stories, but like, you know, if I was walking home on my own and it was dark and it was Halloween, like even as a teenager, like sometimes, yeah. But I've got some amazing news for you. Oh God, it's bigger. And Halloween is just a holiday. It's not even a good one. You don't even get time off school. And monsters aren't real. Except like sharks. But they're just fish, and they're pretty cool. There are all sorts of stories of ghosts and ghoulies and monsters, but it doesn't matter what anyone tells you. You know what? Our God is bigger than all of it. And when we get a little bit scared of imaginary ghoulies or creepy shadows or things that go bump in the night, there are two Bible verses that can help us not be afraid. In Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse eight, it says, I will never leave you or forsake you. Do not be afraid and do not be discouraged. And if ever we're scared of the dark or of dark things, then remember that Jesus is the light of the world. In John chapter eight, verse 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world and whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Some people celebrate Halloween and some people don't. When I was growing up, I never attended a Halloween party or even went trick or treating. But whatever your family do at Halloween, whenever you see a scary mask or a carved pumpkin, you can use it as an opportunity to remember that our God is bigger than anything scary. God is always with us and Jesus is the light of the world. Now it's time to craft time. <laughs> Today, we've got a special guest doing our crafts. Now, there might be a few Halloween traditions which are a bit dodgy, and if your parents say no, then listen to them, because they want what's best for you. But there's one tradition around this time of year which is pretty harmless and pretty fun. Carving a pumpkin. Hello everyone, it's Jordan. Hello. And Jordan is joining us with pumpkin carving because of his artistic ability. Absolutely, obviously. We're gonna carve some pumpkins. I'm gonna do a face on mine. Jordan, what are you doing on yours? I'm gonna do a cross because that is a representation of Jesus and him being the light. Is that just because crosses are well easy to draw? That could, that could be a slight uh, reason as to why I'm doing it. I'm going to write John 8.12 in there as well, see if I can carve that in as well. Light of the world. Light and of the world. It is harder to get a J, I'll let you watch. Yeah. To join in with this craft, you are going to need a pumpkin, a scoopy spoon, a little knife, and you might want a pencil or pen for drawing on it first, and a bowl. And you're gonna need help from a grown-up. Now the fun thing about pumpkin carving is that you can carve any design into the pumpkin that you want. A face, a picture, or a word, whatever you like. It can help to draw your design on first before you carve it. And remember, never mind Halloween stories, pumpkins aren't scary. They're just a vegetable, like a potato. It's actually pretty good for you. If I were you guys at home, I would use a pen. You can make mistakes. You can also make mistakes with a pen, Robert. No, you can't, because then it's got a pen on it. Yeah, but you just start again somewhere else. Yeah, but then you've got a pen on it. Just rub it off. Please rub that's it off the pen. Too that's too small, isn't it? Is that too small? That's too small. That's, too small. that's definitely too small. Good job I did this in pencil, kids, because, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I told you. <laughs> See? I can't even draw a cross. I'm so bad. <laughs> This is gonna go awful. <laughs> but hey, we've got a spare one. Right here. But yeah, for something good. No. Not just for Jordan's mistake. It's for Jordan's mistake. So for the next bit, you will need a grown up to help you because you will need to have a big knife to take the tops off. So make sure you have a responsible adult. Mm. This is why we don't let Jordan use the big yes, knife. Yes, I'll, I'll take the, the spoony spoony. <laughs> right, scoopy scoopy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, now it's right. time for the scoopy scoop. Scoopy scoop scoop. Scoopy scoop. 
Oh, Samson wants to get involved. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Scoop. 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 There is method in my madness because I might be able to just, the majority of it, might. No, no, it didn't work. <laughs> no, it's all stuck at the bottom. You can eat the seeds, right? I believe so. Shall I find out? Rob. I had a roast of it. I think we need to roast. <laughs> And then once we got all the bits out in the middle, we'll make a pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie? Or a pumpkin soup. Or a pumpkin soup. Or put them together and... <laughs> <laughs> a pumpkin poop. <laughs> a pumpkin poop. <laughs> so make sure that you cut your pumpkin lids on a slight angle going inwards so it sits back on it. And don't do what John did and cut straight down. Exactly. <laughs> got a grown up around to supervise anything using knives. <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> Samson! <laughs> Samson! Samson! Samson's had that! Hey! That's not bad! That's alright! So because I finished my pumpkin early, I went and got a bit of squash. Giving my multiple layers, everybody. Look at look at how he's coming up. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how he's come out, you know. Look at this fella. Hey, let's hey, hey. see the pumpkin. Look, my butternut squash fella. <laughs> he's a different type of squash. Pumpkin. So he's one of these. It's like a different type of that. one of these. Sydney. Sydney. The squash. Sydney the squash. And Barry the butternut yeah. squash. <laughs> so I try it. Go on, take a chunk out of it. Go on, take a bite. Crap. Go on. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I'm not gonna try it. So, we have got our pumpkins and bonus squashes involved as well. So we've got Percy over here. We've got a light bulb there and there. Jesus is the light of the world, which is in John 8, 12. And you've got the cross right in the middle of there. And just bonus squashes for fun. So now what we want to do is stick candles in it. Yes. And this little light can remind us that Jesus is the light of the world. When lighting the candles, get an adult person to help you. Pumpkin! Oh, I just put my hand on the lighter. <laughs> <laughs> God, that took the hot end of the lighter and it's been lighting candles. Anyway, see you later, Jordan. Thanks for having me. Thanks for your help, guys. For today's prayers, we are thanking God that Jesus is the light of the world. So I want you to find a light that you can hold while we say this prayer. You could use your carved pumpkin with a light inside it. Or just a candle on its own or any other form of light you can find. Dear Lord, thank you that you are bigger than anything we might be afraid of. Thank you that Jesus is the light of the world and thank you that we can completely trust in you and rely on you. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. And so, a final thought. There are many things in this world that are scary. And at Halloween, with all the costumes and decorations, we can be reminded of lots of those scary things. But never forget, our God is bigger and he is always with us. Jesus is the light of the world and where the light is, there is no darkness. See you next week! Why not tune in to Virtual Sunday School? Thank you so much, Nat. And that's a great message for us, isn't it? That our God is bigger than all the scary stuff that is around us. And so that's a really good thing for us to remember, especially at those times when we're feeling a little bit scared, that our God is bigger than all of that. So, which song do you think we might, going to be, might be going to sing right now? Which one do you think it is? Yeah, that's right. We're going to sing, Our God is a Great Big God.
before the world began How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan Our God is a great big God Our God is a great big God Our God is a great big God And He holds us in His hands Our God is a great big God Our God is a great big God Our God is a great big God And He holds us in His hands He is higher than a skyscraper And He's deeper than a submarine Great singing everyone, thank you so much for joining in, singing that song, thank you for your energy and your enthusiasm. Well, we're almost finished and we're just going to finish with a short prayer, so let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you are with us day by day. We thank you that you are our light. We pray that you would continue to be with us and we would know your presence guiding us day by day. Amen. So. Shall we finish as we normally finish with the grace and we've got the actions to do to this. So make sure at the end, this is so important, make sure at the end that you jump as high as you possibly can. Watch out, man, you don't hit the ceiling though. And shout out that amen as loud as you possibly can. So are you ready? The grace, grace of our, our Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ and, and the, the love, love of God, God and the, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Excellent. Well done. So thank you for being with us. We look forward to seeing you next week. Bye. Bye.